let's start with let's start with going through quickly what we released in the last couple of months. So we started with duplicate sessions, reminding all of you. This wasn't something that we had in Evimax. For some of you, maybe you don't even remember that because this feature was so helpful for people that are using Evimax for different shows or they have different episodes of the same show and they would like to keep things organized. So they would like to have different uh, sessions in Evimax, but still keep the layout, the designs, the scenes that they created. And also we talked about it that it's very powerful if you would like to have more than one stream scheduled ahead of time. So let's say I'm scheduling an episode for next week and I would like to schedule the episode of the week after right now. I don't want to wait for the episode next week to happen and then schedule. So with duplicate sessions, you basically can schedule the year, uh, the next year um, at once. So you can just schedule, uh, duplicate the sessions and then go to the broadcasting channel per session and basically schedule the stream. So it's really powerful because in EVMAX each session you can change the broadcasting channel. So it can be that the same YouTube channel but with different broadcasts, different streams scheduled. Super powerful and I don't know a lot of web-based platforms, if any, that offer you this capability and also, of course, be able to duplicate the scenes. It's really, really powerful. So duplicate sessions, it was the maybe the first one that we released in the last couple of months. And then we have also the background music and sound effects. Really, really powerful feature, allowing you to have background music when you're streaming. A lot of people really love that. It's also great when you're recording content. So when you're recording tutorials or something like that, it's really nice sometimes to have background music. So in EVMAX, you have some tracks um, that you can upload your tracks. And I think we have also some tracks in there so you can use. And sound effects is those nice effects you can have. For example, my, um, I love this one. <laughs> All right, so with one click of a button, you can have different effects in EVMAX, which is really, really great and powerful. So background music and sound effects, right? And then we added a lot of different, uh, of new broadcasting channels to be built in, in the EVMAX broadcasting channels. So of course you have the costume RTMP, so basically you can stream to any destination, but still having that um, built in the platform always makes things easier and that's our job, to, makes it, to make it easier for you because you know going live sometimes might be frustrating so anything we can take out of your plate is always good. So we added just recently Amazon Live, Telegram, Steam, Vimeo, Decast, Rumble and Kik. Any other destinations you think worth adding to EVMAX to be built in the platform, please let us know. We would love to add more. And then, just I think three or four weeks ago, we released the studio mode, the ability to split the screens to avoid mistakes when streaming or recording. So splitting screens was something that we developed right out of the gate when we launched EVMAX, but only for ProSynths. The biggest change, I think two things were significant when we released this feature. First of all, also for people using dynamic scenes only, and they don't use any Pro scenes whatsoever, we allow them to enjoy the split screens, the studio mode because also for dynamic scenes, it's super great that you can do edits and it's not affecting the screen immediately. Why? Because maybe you did edit and that's a mistake. Maybe you would like to review that before you transition to the live portion of your, um, like really showing it to, to your audience. Um, before that in dynamic only, 
you when you were with dynamic scenes only, no pro scenes, the screen didn't split. And then any change you did, it was on the fly and it was affecting the live show immediately. So that's one change. Another change is basically the ability for anyone, regardless if you are using dynamic scenes and or pro scenes, to turn off the studio mode, which means having only one screen and not splitted screen. And then any change you do on the fly will affect immediately the live show. And it's powerful because we got a lot of feedback from people that they don't want to use the transition button. They want any change they do, boom, to affect the stream. They're either not that frustrated that they will do mistakes or even if they do mistakes they're fine with it you know it doesn't have to be perfect for them and that's totally fine and that's something we appreciate and as a result we made the studio mode as an option so with one click of a button you can turn on and off the studio mode and even during the show maybe some part of the shows you do want the studio mode on because it's a bit more hectic and you want to make sure you do it accurately and correctly and some parts of the show are totally easy going and you don't have any um, any room for mistakes and then you turn it off and it's easier for you to do things on the fly so yeah, studio mode, I think it's really powerful. Very curious to hear from you what you think about it in the comments and what you use, studio mode or not studio mode. I can tell you from what we see in our statistics, a lot of people using studio mode, but with that, we still have people that they prefer not to. So it's amazing how with one click of a button, you can choose what makes sense to you as we're not the same, you know, people are different and that's what's nice and, and beautiful about it. The next feature was like two weeks ago or so, the multi-camera, also crazy improvement to EVMAX crazy upgrade to allow people to add multiple cameras also very easily um, add them to the, the add them by names to the system so anytime you connect again to the system you don't have to reconfigure them so if you have scenes and you created them with the second camera you have it's perfect you can join again after and the system will remember your cameras um, of course, as long as you're not changing the setup. Um, so that's super, super powerful multi-camera feature. It's not just, okay, add another camera. It's really allowing you to prepare for your show with multiple cameras ahead of time. And that's huge for me, at least. Um, again, curious to hear your thoughts about it. And the last but not least was last week, the web sources. So allowing people using stream elements, stream DPS, and even using HTML code and other vendors that I don't know, other products that providing web sources, allowing you to copy and paste that in EVMAX, add that as a layer into your pro scenes. Super simple, super powerful, and again, super unique in this space and you know, this is what makes us excited to be unique. We always try, I think you can, you can tell from all of our content and everything we do in the past year since we launched that we are trying to be different. We are trying to be unique. We are trying to be the sweet spot for people. And I hope that we are successful in it. And for sure, I think the community has a big, big part of it.